Hello everyone, we're group six and we'll be presenting the Blue Apron case study for our class MRK518. My name is Josh Ayer and the others presenting are... Amy A. My name is Ni. My name is Jonah Bennis. And my name is Helen Rosario. To move forward, we'll be talking about the introduction and uh, discussing a little more about the problems that the company is going through. So Blue Apron is the leading meal kit delivery business in the United States. We target a large group of people and demographic, specifically families and millennials. We offer fresh meal plans with high quality ingredients starting at $9.99 per month. This is targeted primarily for family plans and couple plans. Uh, some of our direct competitors are HelloFresh, Beach Dish, and Home Chef. Along the way, some problems that we have identified is that Blue Apron's market share has significantly decreased due to the huge increase in competition. Uh, some of this competition has come from our direct competitors like HelloFresh, Beach Dish, Home Chef, who have significantly dominated the food subscription market. Hi everyone, uh, I'm, I'm Nhi and I'm going to talk about situation analysis for Blue Apron. So first of all, I will talk about the strain. The brand uh, equity is really good. They are the well-known brand and with a positive image, uh, image. Uh, they also uh, play a role as a leader in the industry with 53% market share and sustain 40% market share next year. The product is, is well positioned category to be different from over grocery market. And they have the competitive price compared to the other uh, competitors. Uh, they also uh, support numerous uh, emerging podcasts and streaming radio network and Blue Apron podcast and radio advertising became recognized for humorous copy and allowed hosts to improvise. The weaknesses are uh, customer retention, customer level profitability, uh, profitability and the stock price. So only 28% 20, uh, of Blue Apron customers remain six months after acquisition and total revenue per customer during the six months after acquisition declined by 14%. They also faced with a loss, a large losses uh, because they was too focused on sales, uh, which led uh, sales growth, which led to spending money more in acquiring more customer, but the newer one was generating less revenue. And the stock rapidly decreased to 2.99 after five months going public. Uh, the opportunities is uh, the milk is service gained share from 800 billion grocery industry and milk sales has grown to 5 billion in 2017 and it was predicted to grow about 20% more in year to come. Uh, the threat from the industry um, for uh, Blue Apron is that the competition was growing. Amazon announced to acquire Whole Foods and it's also registered, uh, registered uh, a US trademark for milk service, as well as Walmart, Albertsons and other companies announced investment in the milk kit delivery industry. And lastly, HelloFresh has stable customer retention more than us. Hey everyone, I'm Amy and I'm gonna be going over a few of the strategic alternatives. So despite the brand or the company, it is crucial to not only attract new customers, but to also maintain the most valuable, loyal customers. And for this type of situation, it is extremely important to stay consistent with keeping up with the customer's needs and overall experience. So one strategy they could do is they to, in order to retain the customers for a longer period of time, is that they could join a customer loyalty program. 
And I suggest they consider charging less per serving for consumers who choose to commit to a longer subscription. This would allow the customer to pay less per year when subscribing for a year-long subscription. And it would discourage them for, from opting out for a shorter subscription, such as either three months or six months, because we realize that in the case that customers tend to leave after six months. So the company needs to strategize their promotions and they need to target them and make sure that they're only targeting towards valuable consumers, meaning consumers who are coming back. So a strong promotional campaign they could try would be getting a consumer to buy 10 subscription boxes to receive one for free with another purchase. Consumers love this idea, like they love free things and in order to gain the free box, they must spend money on at least 10 of these boxes and similar to giving consumers a free box they could also host special events that's a, another great strategy is that they could do food charity events it shows that they care about the community as well they could do something small like a wine and cheese event wine and cheese event a wine and cheese event would be particularly beneficial towards blue apron because they could also promote the new option of adding a bottle of wine to their subscription box Hi everyone, my name is Helen and I'm going to continue from Amy's part. Um, so another strategic alternative would be to update um, the customers at each moment through follow-up emails. Uh, so for instance, um, after each time a customer has received a box, they should receive an email with a survey link asking, how do we do today or what can we improve? Even though the customer is potentially unsatisfied, um, they may rethink again and go back to using Blue Apron because they are catering to their needs. Another tactic would be um, to reach out to unhappy customers and to portray that, you know, we're sorry you feel that way and we want to make it right. Here's a $10 gift voucher on us. So with these simple strategies and cost-effective ways, not only does it aid customers and their needs and opinions on the subscription, uh, the subscription service, but also um, their feedback helps the business with further improvements. Hi guys, uh, I'm Jonah and I'll be talking about the tactical plan. Uh, in order to keep existing companies, Blue Apron should implement a rewards program long term. The company could develop a VIP rewards program for customers who have been with us for over a year, and then a standard program for the new, the newly joined consumers. This specific tactic of having a specified program will, uh, for loyal customers, will make consumers feel important and connected to the brand on a deeper level. The second strategy for Blue Apron uh, is a promotional program targeting towards existing customers. In order to do this, the, cus the company should send out personal emails that includes a landing page, which will allow them to track how many existing customers are invested in these promotions. Um, when they're signing up, they will uh, input their email address, and this will allow us to contact them when we are having our promotions. Another tactic we use is to record each birthday and then we could surprise them with the promotion, which will make our customers feel important and satisfied. So to conclude the presentation, uh, Blue Apron needs to increase its customer loyalty and make customers feel more invested in the brand is now a mission and to achieve is to maintain its competitive advantage and live up to its title of market leader. Thank you for listening to our presentation and have a nice day.